Michael Lopez here again with um, some more Godzilla t-shirt reviews. I have some really cool ones that I want to show you from a place in San Francisco called Super 7. They've been a, uh, they're, they're a store in San Francisco and they have an online store as well. But they've been a presence in San Francisco for a long time. So let's get started here. Um, this one's actually my favorite. It came out for um, Comic-Con 2023. Uh, in the San Diego one. I believe it's San Diego. There's a lot of Comic Cons, but I'm pretty sure this was a San Diego exclusive. Um, and it's a, it's a drawn out, um, I think this is from the Dark Horse Comics um, line of Godzilla comic books, which I think is the second ever line of Godzilla comics. Cause I think Marvel had their own line in the 60s or 70s. And then Dark Horse had their own line that was um, pretty popular. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is guys a uh, it's a pretty cool shirt. It's more on the bloodier side. He's got some blood from his like jaw dripping down, and it's more um, it's more I guess horror based really. But it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It shows him like on a more vicious angle, and I kind of like that his head is um, it's Heisei. So uh, in minus one, I feel like they, they pulled a lot from the Heisei design, especially in the head. So it's kind of cool seeing like his texture and everything shine out like that, where it looks more, um, you know, Heisei inspired. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really neat. So this is a medium or a medium. Um, I like this shirt a lot. And every time I go out with this shirt on, someone always like compliments it too. So it's a pretty loud shirt. Um, most people will look at this shirt and say like, oh, like I really like that graphic tee, it's pretty neat. So um, I'm very happy with this shirt and stuff. So it, it, it is pretty loud and kind of in your face and very bright and vibrant. Um, I like wearing this with like, light, with, like, with like light blue jeans. Like it really kind of sticks out. <laughs> so there's that one. It's pretty awesome. And like I said before, all these uh, shirts I'm reviewing are from Super 7. Um, next one we have is, um, it's another one. This one's also Godzilla. And um, it's, it's all in Japanese here, obviously, with the text reading Godzilla um, vertically. Um, it's supposed to be his innards, um, and uh, and there's like a logo, um, the trademark logo right here. I don't know if this says it all, so if anyone wants to translate any of these <laughs> um, these texts here, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's just like you know like eyes and you know and ribs and lungs and stuff. Unfortunately, I've worn this one a little bit, and I love Super 7. I'm very supportive of that store. Um, but unfortunately, this shirt tends to chip a bit with a couple of washes. Um, not right away, so don't worry. But, um, but a couple of washes will unfortunately make this shirt chip. <laughs> but um, it kind of does add like a kind of a, a neat like effect to the shirt, even though it is chipping. Um, but yeah, so know that kind of going into it though. Um, I kind of noticed that it's more so on his like organs and stuff on like his innards. Um, his face is pretty good looking, you know. Um, uh, it's just like his, his insides are a little bit chipped um, on the red. I think the red's chipping the most though because the yellow looks pretty good too and the green looks good. So if you find this shirt, um, please kind of know that, that that is an unfortunate, um, you know, think of the shirt that just chips a little bit more easier than I'd like for it to chip. But like I said, it's good for a couple of washes, so it won't chip right away. Okay. All right on. Okay, this one's another favorite of mine. This one's actually brand new. I bought two of these shirts just because I liked it so much. Um, if I like a shirt enough, I'll buy two just because it comes like rare and out of print and you just can't find it later on. But um, this one's uh, King Ghidorah. Um, yeah, and it's the same thing. It's like, they have like an, like an anatomy line where they, they show like the, um, the kaiju's um, like insides and like the anatomy of. And so there's King Ghidorah's anatomy in case you're ever curious what King Ghidorah looked like on the inside. Um, there's his organs and his like, how he eat, you know, his digestive tract and everything. And, you know, his skeleton. And I think his skeleton's in there. Um, hard to see, there's a crease right there, but. But yeah, that's what King Ghidorah looks like on the inside. I find it kind of odd that they have a Godzilla logo here for the trademark. I feel like they should have a King Ghidorah um, uh, logo instead. 
Um, any diehard Toho fan would know that each kaiju has their own like logo with a, a little like drawn out like stamp of them. Um, every kaiju has that. I even think Zilla has his own too. Zilla is the American Matthew Broderick Godzilla. Um, yeah, but it's neat. It's got um, like a black, um, you know, on the collar and on the uh, sleeve here. So it's cool. It's got like a very like retro like 70s kind of vibe to it, which I, I think it's cool. I vibe to it too. So yeah, that's uh, that's my um, Ghidorah Anatomy T-shirt. Okay. All right. I have these two shirts that I'm not reviewing right now. Let's run away. Okay. This one is a Mothra one, and it has. This one's actually really cool. It's um, it's it, it's a. I guess the word is like tie dye, kind of like you know, Washburn kind of like Mothra shirt, like with the with the actual t-shirt itself, not, not the uh, logo, it's, it's just a solid white. But it's neat. Um, I like it a lot too, kind of loud, kind of fun. Um, but the, I guess the real image that I want to share is on the back actually, instead of the front. But it's got a cool image of Mothra on it. And I like it a lot. It's neat, it's loud, it's creative, it's nicely drawn, it's basic, but not too basic. And it's, it's, it's really cool. I, I got this one from Super 7. Um, in the store. Um, I got all these shirts from the store, I think. Um, but this one's very special to me because the owner of the store, um, like, I, I, I go in there kind of asking about Godzilla stuff, and I inquired about this shirt, um, and they had a spare one, and they gave it to me for free, basically. Um, and I think they weren't supposed to sell this shirt, um, so kudos to the folks down at Super 7 for being very kind to uh, hook it up. Um, you know, and they're very nice uh, about it too. And I, I think there's just like an extra one they had in stock that they, they weren't quite selling. So that was very nice of them and I really appreciate it. And if they're watching this video, thank you very much. Cause that meant a lot to me. And I got to wear it out to um, a concert once. So, or a little show. It was that band that sing I Want Candy. I was wearing that shirt when I went to the show. Um, I forgot their name, but that band, you can look it up. <laughs> And this is the last shirt I have for you guys today. And it kind of goes back to their like anatomy line. And this one's really cool too. Um, it's a gray shirt and it also it has Mecha Godzilla on it. And before I get further into the shirt, I just kind of want to say that like, I think it's really cool that Super 7 gives the Kaiju their love like on an individual kind of scale. I think it's really cool that we have a just Mothra shirt and a just King Ghidorah shirt. You know, I like when like when Toho does that, when they when they'll just give a um, a certain monster their own like time to shine away from Godzilla, because you know it's just what if you're like a big fan of just Mecha Godzilla and you know so that's kind of cool that they thought to like make a shirt out of it. So I like that a lot. Um, but again, I don't know Japanese at all, so um, I you know I, I assume it says you know probably says Super Eight and Mecha Godzilla right there, but it's neat. It's really cool and. Uh, there's all of his robot insides and gears and, and missiles and, and everything, yeah. So again, it also has um, minor chipping to it. I think I've worn this one less, or maybe it just withstands like the wash a bit better than the other ones do. Um, but but yeah, it's a it's a great shirt. I like it a lot. Um, it's fun to wear. Um, and yeah, that's my like, Godzilla t-shirt. Um, but Super 7 is more than just like a Godzilla or Kaiju or Japanese store. Primarily it's a pop culture store and they have like things from like Pixar and uh, like Transformers and like, you, you know, monster stuff, you know. And uh, I went in there one time and I saw like a Rocker, uh, Rocco's Modern Life t-shirt that I thought was really cool. And um, so they're like a pop culture store and they're, they have some pretty like interesting like, um, IPs that they like get their hands on to like license uh, merchandise for. Um, I think they have like a, like um, that cat from um, uh, uh, Lightyear, that the, the, the robot cat that, that um, assists, uh, uh, will assist Buzz Lightyear on his missions. So that's pretty cool. It comes like in a crate and everything, but um, they have a lot of cool stuff. They have a really neat um, uh, Mecha Godzilla. It looks very similar to this and it's like a clear Mecha Godzilla figure that I think is really cool and yeah it's just really neat. Um, I think it would look really cool with some like LED lights to it and kind of make them light up and you know and I haven't got it yet but um they also have a really cool um 
uh, Godzilla versus Desostroya um, uh, figures, and they have like the melting Godzilla figure, which is really cool because like his face is like melting off, and you can see his skeleton, and it looks really cool. That'd make a really cool like Halloween like kind of like Godzilla figure, you know. So eventually I'll probably inquire about getting that too, or maybe I'll find it on eBay or something. But I like to kind of support you know Super Seven because they're really cool and they're it's a fun to go to and. If you're ever in San Francisco and you have some time to, you know, check it out, I highly recommend going to Super 7. It's full of a bunch of cool things, and yeah, it's a cool spot. And just last but not least, I like to do a quick little plug-in for my music. Um, music is like my, you know, besides from Godzilla, it's my favorite, you know, thing ever. So I'm a musician myself, I like going to shows, I like you know, all kinds of artists. And I can actually kind of make it full circle too because I'm wearing a System of a Down t-shirt. Uh, that's what I'm wearing right now. And uh, yeah, it's a mesmerized System of a Down t-shirt. I got their show in Oakland when they, when they, you know, I think it was Corn and System, I think. Um, but it was a cool show and uh, yeah, um, I can make it full circle because um, in Godzilla King of the Monsters in 2019, uh, the end song in the credits was uh, Surge doing a um, a cover of Blue Oyster Cult's Godzilla, which is a classic, um, really, really iconic classic rock song for Godzilla. It's a lot of fun, and he did it with Brendan Small, and Brendan Small is um, the guitar player or the main guy from um, uh, Death Clock or Metalocalypse, the show. So I like them both, and yeah, it's just really cool to see like one of my favorite um, rock stars like combine, um, you know, collaborating and doing a really cool classic rock song uh, about my favorite character ever. So um, yeah, so that's how I can make my shirt relate to Godzilla because System of Down, Surge, and then they do like, the song for Godzilla and the soundtrack and it's crazy. Like if, if someone told me that Surge was going to be singing um, Blue Oyster Cult's Godzilla as a kid, like I would, you know, it's just crazy. Like my mind's like blown that even exists. So um, that's really neat. And then my own music too. Um, I mentioned this last video, and I'm probably just going to close with this really quick, but um, my music is on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, um, anywhere you can listen to music, really, even YouTube, and yeah, so, you know, I got the vinyl he uh, here, and um, unfortunately my website is not fully operational right now, but in time, uh, within the next like, month or two, I will have it, uh, an online store where you can buy these vinyls. Um, they're really cool, uh, glows in the dark in the text. Um, I designed the cover myself and had a friend redo it. Um, that's the backside. That's me chilling in San Francisco. So that's kind of funny in, in a really high rise um, apartment. Um, they're numbered. This is 126. Um, yeah, that glows as well. And the spine glows. Oh, and the actual um, vinyl itself is like a, you know, it's like a exorcist looking vomit green, marble green looking, uh, vinyl so um yeah, it's fun to look at you know you know music's you know it's my music so I, I i i like it you know and i hope you guys like it too but anyways that's my godzilla review um i hope you guys have a great day night evening if you have any questions comments complaints concerns please drop it in the comment section below please follow and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time